Hi. Welcome back ish. I don't know. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how I just did this microblading on my eyebrows. This was my eyebrows before. And this is them now, thanks to this bad guy. Let's get into it. So today I am going to be microblading my own eyebrows. I said it, I'm doing it. I've done it once before. As you can see, I have dreadful eyebrows, really. Um, it's just, let me get my, I guess it would have been good if I brought everything I needed, right? No, I have terrible eyebrows. Um, I did microblade them like, I don't even know, maybe it's been like two months now but I needed to touch them up and I never did, so they've like really faded. Oh my God, cat, get out of here. Yeah, so I just have to extend where my eyebrows are and fill them in. And this is not the result of over plucking. I never over plucked my eyebrows. I mean, at one point I was plucking them here and there, but that's because they were growing in horrible places. This is the result of somebody else doing my eyebrows, which I touched on that briefly in one of my other videos. I'm pretty sure it was my get ready with me video. So if you wanna hear my story about how that happened, then you know check that video out, it's in there somewhere. Last time I did this, I was a psycho and I did not have numbing cream. So it hurt. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't terrible. I felt worse. I have tattoos. So it was just like that, kind of. But uh, I did buy some numbing cream. So I'm going to use that today. The ink that I have is not like exactly the color that I want, but they didn't have in stock the like color that I need. So I've got like this like coffee color which my eyebrows are like dark brown so I have oh here's that what I was looking for before little eyebrow brush thing gloves because you're cutting holes in your face sanitation I have a scissor because I'm gonna trim my eyebrows first and then I have my fancy schmancy microblading pen and blades that are sa uh, sterile. They've never been open used, which you should never do that. Um, use two blades or one blade for multiple occasions. That'd be a terrible idea. That's how you get infections. That's how you lose your whole eyebrow. The first thing that we have to do is numb these puppies so i'm gonna use this numbing cream which i've never opened yet let's break the seal and it smells good we're gonna use this numbing cream put some uh saran wrap over it i guess to make it like really soak into my skin i'm gonna leave that on for a bit and then we're gonna continue so let me get the saran wrap, actually. Okay. Cling wrap. For my face. Man, I've been, like, trying to vlog lately and have not been feeling it. I've just been, like, so blah, you know? Like, just feeling like crap about myself, really. But I'm going to lose weight. It's usually how I can make myself feel better, you know? Just, I've got all this uh, baby body that's gotta go. 
So I cut a piece off. I'm going to just boop over my face like that after I put this numbing cream on. Um, all right. Let's see if there's any directions because I didn't use this last time. Ah, directions. Covered by the sticker for the seal. Put this, just the finger condom. And just uh, apply it to where I'm gonna microblade. And I wanna make sure to get enough on there because like I said, it's not fun. And I'm not really sure how long I should leave this on, so I'm gonna have to look that up real quick. I probably should have been more prepared for this, right? Don't be like me. Well, I mean, considering you're watching this video, you're probably gonna get the information that you need. Damn, my eyebrows are terrible. Oh, I forgot to cut them first. I could do that after. We're gonna wipe them off. So, concentrated lidocaine that I purchased. Is that enough? I have terrible eyebrows, but at least I have long eyelashes, right? Which um, I've mentioned before in one of my other videos that I do my own uh, lash lift. I do my own lash lift, so I'll probably make a video on that as well. So now that that's on, I'm going to just cling wrap on my face. And I guess just Google how long to leave this on. So I just looked it up and there are people that leave the numbing cream on for like 15 minutes or people that leave it on for two hours. So. I mean, it's been like 20 minutes for me, and I I look ridiculous right now. I have a pretty high threshold for pain, I'd say, so um, I'm going to go do it now. Um, before I do this, I just want to say that I am not a professional. I would never microblade somebody else's own eyebrows. I don't think that it's normal for people to do this at home. I mean, there's reasons why you go to a professional because you could do it wrong and completely fuck your eyebrows, your whole face. Let's be real. Your face, it's all about the eyebrows. It really is, which is why I do this at home because I don't have freaking, you know, $750 to spend on a micro blade done by a professional. I don't want to discredit anybody that goes, you know, and gets certified to do this. I would love to do that, but I, I can't. So, I mean, whatever. Uh, so I have gloves on and I'm going to put my hair back because I don't want my hair to get in the way. That would be terrible. I should have done this first. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. I have um, sanitizing spray. I'm, first, I'm going to rub off the uh, numbing cream with a hypoallergenic baby wipe. And I kind of like poked my eyebrows area to feel if it feels numb or not, and it does. So I lost the... Ah, okay. <laughs> it feels kind of cold actually which is I guess a good thing so oh yeah that feels pretty numb you want to make sure to get all of it off I've got a good mirror here oop 
and I just got numbing cream all over it, so now I can't really see. Good. So, like I said before, I was gonna cut my eyebrows because that, I'd like them to be even when I'm done. Another wipe. So I'm gonna do that before I put a little bit of antiseptic on. Poor eyebrows. They're so hideous. Oh, I should have brought a tweezer over. I have like a random hair over here. My eyebrows don't grow. So when they do grow, I get super excited. Like I have these two right here. They took like years to grow. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I was like applying castor oil and just doing everything I could. All right, so now I have this spray. I'm just gonna make sure that we're nice and sterile because safety first, I say, as I'm doing my own eyebrows. I'm gonna take this pen and I have a blade it's never been opened before. It's completely sterile. Put that together. There we go. I've got my ink. So I'm going to put some ink in this little like ink thing, I guess. And you don't need a lot at all. So I just have like a tiny bit. Can't really see probably. Okay, and that's on my finger, so when I need to dip, I can. Oh, also, <laughs> I'm not drawing like lines on my face, like I see a lot of people do, and honestly, you probably should, just so that you know like what lines to stay in or whatever, but um, since I've done this to myself before I kind of like you can't really tell because it's so small but like they are shaded already a little and I'm not going crazy like filling in like crazy spots and whatever I'm just doing like some lines here and there so this is not like a full microblading sesh here we go I'm gonna dip here make sure I can Everyone, make sure you can see and that we're the first thing I'm gonna do. Wow, I really need to tweeze these suckers. All right, so I'm gonna start just going like this at the ends and just kind of like filling in these little tiny sporadic spots and a line down here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side.
so I'm gonna just sort of like cover the side with ink so that it kind of like soaks in. And like I said, not a professional. Don't judge, whatever. This video is purely just to be like, for fun, so. Yeah, just don't hate. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the other side. Same thing, I'm just gonna like just Lines, 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 lines. This looks ridiculous. I look crazy right now. All right, so um, I just let that sit on there for a few minutes and now I'm gonna wipe it off and see where we're at. So just seeing this, it turned out pretty perfect. This is like exactly how I pencil my eyebrows every single day, which makes me like upset that I have to do that. Like I wish that I could just grow eyebrows. I really do. But you know, that's not how life works. unfortunately. You could see that it looks like actual hairs. I really need to unplug some of these strays. But yeah, this is, like I said, this is exactly how I do whoa, my eyebrows when I am, um, penciling them which I do every day and I don't want to do that anymore so I want to just make it look like I have you know real hair which I feel like that looks like real hair That's how I do my eyebrows. Um, so, oh, hi, Brookie. Oh, this is only the second time I've ever done it. So I'm, I'm sure like as I do it more, I'll get better. Um, I think that it looks good. I don't really care what anybody else thinks. This is about my preference and they will feed a little bit um, after like they start to heal, which by the way, uh, it does start to flake and like peel a little bit like a tattoo. And 
you can't like peel it off like the scab otherwise it'll pull the ink out so tell me that doesn't look like real hairs it's crazy man tattooing is great it's body art well thank you for checking this video out if you have i guess any questions or concerns or whatever or tips even drop them in the comments please press the like button and next time i will uh show you guys how i do the lash lift and tint which my eyelashes are about due for i'm gonna go drink some coffee now These look pretty good.